In order to better understand how DC works in crypto, let's make a simple analogy. Let's imagine that you want to make apricot compote. You can buy 10 pounds of apricots for $1,000 all at once, meaning one pound is worth $100. Or you could buy them in retail. At the beginning of every month, you buy a pound of apricots, but prices vary, meaning sometimes one pound is worth $110, other times it is worth $90. In the end, using the lump sum version, you would have gotten 10 pounds of apricots for $1,000. But using the DCA strategy, you may end up with 10 pounds and 7 ounces for the same amount of money because of the change in price. This is basically what DCA is all about. So stay with me to the very end of this video, because I am going to explain what advantages this strategy has to offer. What is dollar cost averaging? The DCA, for short, is an investment strategy which has the goal of reducing to a minimum the impact of volatility. It is also known as unit cost averaging, incremental averaging, or cost average effect. In DCA, instead of making one single transaction, the investment is divided into smaller amounts, which are invested at regular intervals. DCA tries to minimize the risks associated with volatility by lowering the general average cost of an investment. Promising, right? We promise to deliver interesting crypto content. So, if you liked this video so far, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. How DCA Works Let's say you wanted to invest $500 in DOT across a 5-month period between June and October 2021, meaning $100 every month. The prices of DOT for each of those months were 2701, 1686, 3147, 3738, and 4488. With this money, you could have purchased 3.7 DOT in the first month June, followed by 593, 317, 267, and finally 222 DOT in October. After these 5 months, you have a total of 17.69 DOT. In November, the price of 1 DOT stood at 53.88. This means that the profit you could have registered was $453.13 above your initial investment. But if you had invested all $500 at once in October, you would have had 11.14 DOT. That means that in November, when the price of 1 DOT was 53.88, your fiat equivalent of that would have been $600, with only 100 above your initial investment. Naturally, it goes without saying that this strategy doesn't always lead to profit, or can it always offer you protection when the prices of crypto are falling. One of the opposing strategies of this is timing the market, in which you try to predict the performance of an asset, which makes it an active strategy. DCA, on the other hand, is a passive strategy because you don't have to follow the market trends, and you invest the same amount of money on a regular basis. The Benefits of DCA DCA comes with several benefits, such as the fact that it reduces investment risk and capital is used to avoid a market crash. It preserves money, so there will be liquidity and flexibility when it comes to managing an investment portfolio. Purchasing market securities when the price is falling makes sure that an investor will receive higher returns. The DCA strategy basically lets you purchase more crypto than if you had bought when prices were high. The DCA strategy also means that you invest smaller amounts periodically in declining markets, and your portfolio will maintain a healthy balance, thus leaving the upside potential of your portfolio to grow in the long term. Furthermore, because nobody can really predict the way crypto market swings, the DCA strategy allows for a smoothing of the cost of purchase, which is to your advantage. Conclusions DCA represents a practice in which an investor allocates an established amount of money at regular intervals for a period of less than one year generally. The strategy tends to work best when it comes to volatile investments such as crypto. Value averaging focuses on investing more when the price of crypto falls and less when the price is increasing. This video was made in collaboration with InsightfulMe.com, an app that allows you to educate yourself by watching fun, short, educational videos on various topics. You can now join them by using our code CRYPTO. The link for the website will be in the video description. If you liked today's video, and if you have any other questions about the DCA strategy in crypto, don't be shy. Go ahead and ask them in the comment section. See you soon. Take care.